Nelly busted for drugs and a loaded gun. Police officers in Texas found heroin, massive amounts of weed, and a loaded gun inside Nelly's tour bus on Wednesday night. From getting slapped with illegal hush hush charges to facing massive tax liens and serious assault allegations, Nelly's life has been anything but quiet. In 2015, just as he was trying to make a musical comeback, police busted him on his tour bus and he faced felony charges. Not long after, the IRS came knocking for millions, which actually had Nelly fans streaming his music nonstop in an attempt to help him out. But his troubles weren't over. Accusations of an intimate invasion on his tour bus surfaced, and this was just the start. There are many more reasons why everybody is wondering, what really happened to Nelly? The Rise and Dip of Nelly's Hip-Hop Stardom Dilemma had everyone stripping down and getting loose in the early 2000s. If you weren't getting down to this banger at the parties or clubs, then you really missed out on a prime slice of hip-hop history. It was during this time that country twangs, R&B hooks, and rap verses all mashed up perfectly, creating some serious chart toppers. And the man of the hour, Nelly. Yep, that Nelly. The one who brought us jams that went way beyond just catchy. It's definitely different. I guess my other songs were a little more, I guess, banging, club banging, you know. Um, and then on this one was a more of a slower pace, just more of a laid back, just a chill. So it's definitely a, a different pace for me, and I think people can feel it. Nelly just wasn't a blimp on the music radar. The guy was a juggernaut. His debut album, Country Grammar, didn't just do well, it went diamond, selling over 10 million copies. This isn't just impressive, it's like winning the music lottery. And his hits didn't stop there. Remember Hot In Here? That track didn't just climb the top, it owned the Billboard Hot 100 for a solid seven weeks in 2002. And Dilemma, featuring Kelly Rowland, snagged the top spot, making Nelly a chart-crushing guru. Nelly didn't just rake in the fans, he also hauled in awards like a boss. We're talking three Grammy Awards, a few American Music Awards, and a whopping nine Billboard Music Awards. His later albums like Nellyville, Sweat and Suit kept the hits coming and the charts buzzing. Back in the day, you couldn't hit up a party or spin through a music festival without Nelly's tracks turning up the heat. But since then, well, it's been a minute since Nelly's beats filled our playlists. The Band-Aid sporting rap star seemed to have faded out a bit, sparking the big question, what happened to Nelly? Why are we not rocking to Nelly's new tracks? Given his knack for catchy tunes and his flair for the mic, it seemed that Nelly would stick around the music scene forever. He had the voice, the lyrics, the swagger, and he truly made his mark. But the music scene is tough, and even stars as bright as Nelly can dim. Nelly's fight to stay relevant you know how people say that hip-hop is really a game for the young guns, but surviving it long-term is for the seasoned pros. Well, let me tell you, Nelly really got a taste of this back in 2010. He dropped his album 5.0, and oh boy did it slap him with a reality check. The music industry wasn't the same playground as it was during the early days. Things had changed, and Nelly was about to start his crash course in Modern Hip Hop 101. In a juicy tell-all interview with Vlad TV, Nelly didn't hold back. He spilled the beans on how times had shifted. Back when he first started, a hit track could easily catapult him to the top of the chart, and he'd be the king of the world. But in 2010, even with the number one hit from the album, it didn't feel like a full victory. It was like scoring a touchdown, but leaving the dance moves at home. Sweet, but kind of incomplete. I feel like that list was trapped in the moment. It wasn't based right. on the records, and I feel like everybody was trapped in the moment. Everybody wanted to act like, because me looking at it, because I watched it. And I've watched it more than once because I'm trying to see how in the hell these people are really jumping over. And it wasn't just the industry vibes that had changed. It was the people, too. Nelly pointed out that the folks who were in his corner from the start, who knew how to spin his tracks and make the magic happen, were no longer around. This left him feeling stranded, trying to make plays in a game that had new rules. I mean, you still should live. You know what I'm saying? Life is... I have kids. You know what I'm saying? I have two two beautiful children, a daughter and a son, and I have other areas of, of life that you want to enjoy as well, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of rough. You try to create a balance sometimes, but um, it's okay. Nelly was facing a whole new beast. He went on to voice his frustrations about how his record label was fumbling his work. According to him, they really dropped the ball, missing opportunities to promote his new sounds effectively. But in 2013, he decided to switch things up when releasing his seventh studio album, M.O. Nelly did something unexpected. He dropped the album on a Monday instead of the typical Friday release. 
his strategy to shock and awe, to stir things up a bit. He wanted to shake the tree and see what fell out, and dropping the album at the start of the week was his way of poking the bear. During a chat on The Breakfast Club, Nelly got real about the need for veteran MCs like himself to find new ways to stay relevant. The hip-hop scene is all about the fresh and new, so he had to slide back into the daily groove of satisfying his fans in innovative ways. He needed to reinsert himself into their routines, their conversations, and yes, their playlists. Charlemagne chimed in with his take. He pointed out that someone who was jamming to country grammar at 15 might be pushing 30 now with kids and a mortgage. Life changes, priorities shift. Sure, they might still throw on a Nelly track for old time's sake, but they're not rushing to download every new song or chasing down concert tickets like they used to. And that's one hefty reason why Nelly's spot in the hip-hop limelight has dimmed. The audience that grew up with him has also grown up. Their lives have moved on and their musical tastes have diversified. But that doesn't mean it's game over for Nelly, not by a long shot. What he needs now is a way to bridge the gap between his longtime fans who have nostalgia on their side and the TikTok generation that dictates the current sound waves. He's got to drop beats that resonate, not just with those who remember the big era fondly, but also appeal to those who think a TikTok dance is the highest form of flattery. As we dive deeper into the saga of Nelly's career, it's clear he's not just sitting back and letting the new kids have all the fun. He's plotting, planning, and possibly even strategizing his next big move. Will he manage to find the perfect blend of old school charm and new school swag? In the workplace, um, leading up to it and not just popping out and like, here's no song. Yeah, I mean, the, the, there was no, you didn't have to drop a mixtape back in the day. Right, that's to, what I'm to, saying. To stay, I to, never you know, did a mixtape. To relate to, to the audience. Drug busts and tax nightmares. So, running into trouble with the law doesn't always spell disaster for celebrities, but for Nelly, it threw a pretty big wrench into his plans. It's 2015, and Nelly's already dealing with the cold shoulder the world gave his 2013 album. Just as he's trying to pick up the pieces, bam, he gets slapped with some serious legal trouble. This morning in Tennessee, Nelly, whose real name is Cornell Haynes, is charged with felony drug possession and possession of drug paraphernalia. A Tennessee state trooper stopped Nelly's bus this morning. Investigators say the officers searched the bus after noticing a strong smell of marijuana. The cops find illegal substances on his tour bus near Nashville, like a scene straight up out of a dramatic road movie, but without the cool soundtrack. Nelly faces charges that sound more serious than a season finale cliffhanger, felony drug possession, simple possession of marijuana, and having drug paraphernalia. His lawyer jumps into action, insisting Nelly's innocence. Luckily, they manage to get the felony charge tossed out, and Nelly ends up in a diversion program instead of a cell, plus 11 months of probation. But when Nelly thought he might catch a break, the IRS comes knocking with a big bill, a $2.4 million tax lien. Nelly apparently owes nearly $2.5 million in taxes. TMZ reports that the IRS slapped him with a lien on the money on unpaid taxes from 2013. That means the government could start seizing his assets and property if he doesn't pay up. As if that wasn't enough to make anyone cry, Missouri claims he owes another $149,511. Talk about kicking a guy when he's down. Now here's where it gets heartwarming. Nelly's fans weren't about to sit back and watch their guy drown in bills. They kicked off a streaming marathon, bumping Nelly's music nonstop during peak hours. That's loyalty, right? Take what you're going through and also um, what life has to offer, not just to yourself, but to other people. And you, hopefully you combine and you create something that um, can be relatable across the board, you know, and again. However, not everything was smooth sailing. Amidst this financial storm, Nelly got hit with a serious accusation. A woman claimed he raped her on his tour bus in Washington. The case later got dropped, but the scandal left a mark. And then two more women in England made similar claims after his shows. It was like controversies were lining up to take a swing at him. Nelly's lawyer was on full defense mode, claiming the first accuser was just after money and fame. It was a messy he said, she said situation that didn't do any favors for Nelly's rep. With his image taking hits left and right, the legal drama piling up, it seemed to be game over for Nelly as a rap artist. Recently in 2023, Nelly began to sell his music catalog. It is estimated that he sold 50% of his catalog for $50 million to a company called Harbor View Equity Partners. 
This means his entire career catalog was worth 100 million. He has also done some smaller acting roles on television, including Dancing with the Stars and some lucrative sponsorship deals with Ford, Got Milk, Reebok, Burger King, and Doritos, adding to his net worth. Nelly started his own clothing line called Vocal and Apple Bottoms, as well as a liquor company called Moshine. We would love to see the rapper make a comeback and hope that his business ventures continue in a positive manner. Lately, you can see him performing at some smaller town fairs and festivals or catch a verse here and there on another artist's track. Time will tell if Nelly steps back into the limelight. Do you think it was a storm of bad luck and timing that ultimately took the rapper out of his game? Was he served justice for his crimes or did he escape the situation in a slimy manner? Let us know what you think about Nelly and make sure to check out these other videos. We appreciate you staying to the end and ask that you like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.